I need a glass of water. My heart is like racing. <clears throat> I don't even really know where to start with this. Um, my heart is literally racing right now. I'm going to try to get through this video without crying as best as I can. Uh, we all know that I tend to be an emotional wreck, so <laughs> might not be the easiest to do, but I'm going to try. I haven't planned out anything to really say for this video. Like, I have no script or anything that I have <laughs> thought about saying. I kind of just wanted to sit the camera down and talk to you guys. Okay, so basically, um, we can, I guess, start from the beginning. Ever since I was a little girl, I was super optimistic. I viewed the world as half full instead of glass half empty. Like, I've always been that way. And um, I think after coming off the show and being on such a high of all of these exhilarating, you know, amazing, great moments that I had... And then coming off and you know I felt like I lost my sense of purpose and I feel like CBS really does try to prepare you for that like no one but and everyone I'm not trying to play victim like I'm not trying to play a victim card I'm simply here sharing my story to help other people I get so many DMs and questions about my mental health I've opened up on it on various social media platforms <sighs> getting out of breath and I feel like I'm having a, I don't know, a moment right now. I'm going to try to collect my thoughts because I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm not acting like my situation is the most horrible thing in the world and it's not even just to do post-reality TV. I just felt like everything was coming down on me all at one time and Until you've truly been super low, you will, n you will not understand. You will not be able to relate. And for those of you who do, I'm sorry because I've been there. It is so hard. Um, when the simplest of tasks feel like a chore, like taking a shower or cleaning your room. And you just feel emotionally drained and overwhelmed in every sense. I said I wasn't going to cry and here I am. <sighs> Already tearing up and being a baby. Oh my gosh. To just feel like I didn't have a purpose and being so goal driven my whole entire life. From starting a business when I was in college to, you know signing up for this show and going on a show like I always had a plan and to come off and not have a plan I just felt so lost it was almost like I lost myself a little bit and I really did and I was so low and so down to the point where my family was concerned my friends were concerned and to look at the people you love and have them look back at you like they don't even know who you are literally to have your mom be so concerned that she wants you to get admitted into like a psychiatric facility is if you I just it's hard it's hard no one I feel for anyone who goes through this depression it's not funny it's not a joke it's a real thing um and i've witnessed it firsthand i've seen people in my family go through it i've had people in my family hospitalized for depression i know people 
also from the show that are going through the same things that I'm going through and I know people out there watching this are going through the same thing and I just want people to know that they're not alone because at the end of the day when you feel alone like that's when it's the worst that's when it's the worst and I'm not making this video for pity. I'm not making this video to victimize myself in any way. I'm simply making this video because I want people out there to know that it's okay not to be okay. And it gets better. It does get better. And I kind of want to talk about my experience um, and kind of how I felt when I was going through all of this and I I mean I'm not saying that I'm over it because I'm not I'm steadily working towards being a better me every day and I think that's how it has to be like there's no flip a switch and you're better um that's not how it works so I guess we can start by me coming out of the show and like everything was great and I was figuring all this stuff out I was so excited and then I just kind of hit like a plateau I had other stuff going on but there was just a lot I felt like was weighing down on me um people you know can sit here and say you signed up for this you know you wanted to be in the spotlight and whatever and however that is true but nothing can prepare you for world outside of reality tv when you come out like nothing nothing can prepare you for that and i don't think anyone would understand it unless you've been through it and people can sit behind screens all day and judge someone's life and i can be out here and you could have these preconceived perceptions of who i am as a person and expectations that you want me to live up to but at the end of the day I am only human and I am the same as you. I think a lot of people fail to realize that um, and I'm not putting blame on anyone, viewers, anything like that at all. I'm just saying like these are the re reasons like why I'm feeling the way that I do. Why this is so hard to talk about and I don't know why it's so hard to talk about. So in my experience I was just feeling really low. Um, it felt like the smallest tasks were the hardest thing to do like I was constantly sleeping had no motivation to do anything I was developing an eating disorder which has never been an issue for me so basically I wasn't making myself throw up my food or anything like that. I physically went every time I would eat, I would throw my food back up, not on purpose. My body just would not hold it down. I think it was all of the stress and anxiety. I lost like 15 pounds in about two weeks. And, um, I would not eat for a few days to the point when I would stand up I would almost collapse because I didn't have any strength and I just say all this to say that mental health issues are real it's not a Ponzi scheme it's a real thing thing it affects your whole life it affects your body it affects the lives of people around you to have to sit and watch your family look at you like they don't even know who you are anymore to be concerned and then like you're upset because they're so concerned about you but yet you can't do anything to fix it because you don't know how to make yourself better on your own but it's okay to get help and it's okay to talk to people.
it's okay to see therapist psychiatrist it's okay to be put on medication with that being said i have been put on medication and i feel like i'm starting to get over this hump in my life and i'm taking my life back and i'm more myself than i have been in a while and i'm proud of that and i say all of this to say that it is okay to not be okay it is okay to seek help if you need it it's okay to be put on medication it's not something to be judged about it's not something to worry about what other people think about you it's about you and healing yourself i'm not really one for the melodramatics surprisingly but i feel like me opening up about what i've been through um and you know how i felt and where that led me could possibly help someone and make someone feel not so much alone um in their situation <sighs> i think it's super important to spread kindness you know to pay attention to how you treat people because you do truly never know what is going on with somebody they could have the pitch perfect life what looks like on social media what they carry on throughout you know their personal lives what you see face to face and it could all just be a facade like you you never know truly what a person is going through and I think this has been su super eye-opening to myself and how I treat people. I mean, I don't think that I've ever treated anyone super horribly, but it definitely does make you more self-aware when you have also experienced, you know, not being okay. <laughs> I really have been contemplating making this video and posting it because I feel like you know, it's super personal to me and it's hard for me to talk about things like this, um, especially on the internet, but I wanted to do, I wanted, I wanted to do this for the sole sake of the fact that it might help someone and the countless DMs and messages I've received of people saying your last video, you just, you know, opening up and talking a little bit about how you feel and like what you're going through really inspired me to seek help it inspired me to talk to my parents about how i've been feeling it it inspired me to tell my friends that i've not been feeling okay that i really think i need to get help and for that soul sake is the only reason why i'm doing this um <sighs> depression is ugly it's raw it's not pretty it's not cute it is real And I have it. <laughs> so, if you, you know, feel the same way, feel free to reach out to me on DMs. My DMs are always open. I try to respond to as many people as I can. I love talking with you guys. Um, but also, I'm not a professional, so seek professional help if you feel like you need to you know every day gets better so just keep pushing forward because that's what i'm gonna do that is what i'm gonna do that's what i'm doing and i feel a lot better i may not seem so in this video but that's just because i feel really uncomfortable talking about all of this sorry for the darkness of this video it's just a reminder that <laughs> life isn't always pretty you know i am a real human being with real emotions who goes through real shit so <laughs> i kind of want to talk about other things that i feel like you know have helped me because now that we're talking about all the nasty stuff why should we not talk about some good things that might you know help you feel better like they help me feel better one is obviously the medication i'm on has helped two the deep breathing exercises that I mentioned earlier have helped. Three, surrounding myself 
with my family and my friends at first that was really hard for me because I felt super overwhelmed because you know they care so much and they want to show that but at times like when you're depressed you just want to be alone so that was really hard for me at the same time but also something that really helped me sorry that was my phone so surrounding myself with my family and friends doing small things that I love that make me feel like I've accomplished something like any tasks that I like to do like cooking a meal and eating it I I mean that made me feel like I had won a marathon because that's how hard it was for me to do such minuscule tasks you know creating content for you guys that was actually something that I liked doing that actually made me want to get up and do something so that would be something for me something for you maybe like going on a run when talking to the therapist I talked to a couple and they said get outside get active set your phone down leave it and go outside and take a walk I feel like that's a big thing like reconnecting with nature could possibly help a lot like I said I'm not a professional like telling you what you should be doing I'm just telling you what worked for me and what helped me get over this hump that I was <sighs> needing so desperately to get over but yeah I'll leave the deep breathing exercise video links down below along with a suicide hotline in case anyone wants that like I said, my DMs are always open to talk with you guys about anything regarding mental health, what you're going through. I'm not a professional. I cannot give you professional advice if you need to seek professional help. I mean, I will be glad to help you find a therapist in your area, a psychiatrist, whatever you need. Just remember that if you're going through depression, if you have anxiety, if you have mental health issues it is not something to be ashamed of there are people out there just like you you are not alone and it can only get better from where you're at so just keep that in mind um and i'm on the journey with you so if that helps you if you need someone to talk to i am here my dms are open i'm glad that i have this platform to be able to share you know my experience and how I feel with you guys and I love you thanks for watching that's it I don't have anything else to say